Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, in today's session we are going to do a contact analysis and uh, right now on my screen what you are seeing is a contact problem. This is a typical segment of an electric contact switch, steel uh, component and uh, the component is pushed from the top and then it gets uh, contact at the bottom and right now on my screen what you are seeing is a contact pressure how the contact pressure distribution across the width for the uh, electric contact switch now guys uh, this particular things we are going to do in a hyperbox so right now what uh, animation you are seeing is in a hyperbox 10 so we are going to do this problem in a hyper mesh as a preprocessor solo railway abacus uh, standard so uh, just to get into the problem definition uh, so you already seen the contact problem earlier we model in a hyper mesh so this particular problem is uh, not only we are going to do a contact but uh, in this particular things we are going to learn how to handle the contact in terms of convergence how we can handle this contact to get a conversion fast so uh, right now in this particular problem there is a, a typical electrical contact switch uh, this particular uh, steel body having thickness of 0.15 millimeter uh, this particular edge will get fixed it is a steel will going to use a linear uh, steel property and uh, the upper portion of this particular component is going to give a prescribed displacement from the top and then it will go and touch at the bottom flat surface and then we are going to check how is the contact pressure distribution on this now if you look into this problem if you see the two bodies getting into contact top and bottom they are of same same dimension so one of the issue commonly get with the same dimension contacting body is whatever the slave nodes of one body and the contact surface of the uh, master surface you can see a chattering of contact for this particular problem whenever you see master and slave of same dimension and uh, getting into contact uh, at the edge it become chattering of contact so we'll get to how you uh, looked into chattering of the problem so this particular problem we are going to do a contact analysis and how to handle a contact chatter now uh, this is a simple dimensions so you have lower body then you have upper body and in distance between them is one now this particular diagram is not to the scale so but if you want to draw it you can uh, easily draw a line diagram in hyper mesh and then extrude in the one one particular direction uh, and then get whatever 3 uh, 3d shell now uh, chattering of contact in abacus is uh, it's very easy to detect chattering of contact in the uh, the you, once you looked into a message file you can see for every uh, uh, um, contact iteration uh, you can see there is a overclosure or opening of a same node so for example the slave node is here master node is uh, master segment is here so for every iteration this node will go out of contact and it will next iteration it will get into a contact now uh, abacus handle this type of problem in different way they have option something like uh, you can extend this master surface by some amount there is some limitation so uh, your model will be same master surface but using extension zone you can just just extend this surface by another 10 percent and you can handle this uh, chattering of contact so let's see how the chattering of contact looks like so so uh, right now on my screen i just uh, saved one of the message file how uh, chattering of contact looks like so you see there is a two severe discontinuity uh, occur during the iteration two points change from open to close this is for severe discontinuity iteration 8 and then it goes and check for a force and movement equilibrium and then next you go there you can see uh, again same message now earlier was open to close again two point changing from close to open equilibrium iteration 9 and then if you move to uh, severe discontinuity iteration 10 so you see um, again two point change open to close so severe discontinuity iteration 9 and 10 and 8 it is closing it's opening 
earlier it was open it is getting closed so this type of things when you start seeing in message file it is called a chattering of contact and this is a common issue when you have master and slave of same size so best way to handle this problem this type of problem chattering of contact is use a extension zone so abac has given a lot of tools for you to handle this contact so one of this tool is the extension zone so let's get into a problem so right now what you're seeing a cross section of uh, electrical contact switch so i'll just extrude this so right now i am using hypermesh version 11 as a preprocessor so first thing you go to preference you go to user profile and use a abacus standard 3d so you have 2d 3d and explicit we are going to use a standard 3d then uh, the template is loaded abacus standard 3d we'll create one more component called surface so we'll just create a surface so I'll go to 2D, I'll say drag, I'll say line in Y and I'll say 2 millimeter and I'll say surface. So I'll select, I'll just reject it, I'll go to surface, so create, so I'm just creating surface, I don't need this surface, this particular surface but so this is a surface generated in uh, hypermesh so quickly we'll start uh, putting material so you go to material panel you say steel uh, all then you say abacus material say create and edit so material name steel you click on elastic you put 10 uh, 210 GPA so we are going to use MPA so 210 uh, e power 0 3 that is MPA and 0 0.3 so units we are going to use is a ton uh, million Newton millimeter and second so this particular component will be in millimeter so this is will be Newton per millimeter square so nothing but MPA so 210 e power e power 0 3 MPA 0.3 is Poisson's ratio then we'll create a thickness so 0.15 so I'll say section shell steel we can choose some color then you say 0.15 since this is going to be a uh, implicit analysis we don't have to worry about the integration point then I'll just create some component switch I'll select uh, thickness shell section steel so I'll just uh, create and edit so now we'll go to mesh so I can do auto mesh so if I put F12 so which is nothing but auto mesh so I'll say point 0.1 as a global size since uh, we are looking quite refinement so and then I'll say mainly a chord so I selected all surface and I'll say mesh so it created a mesh so guys once you put F12 mesh is gone to surface component so I'll just shift it to our switch component so I'll switch off geometry so this is how uh, our component look like so I'll just rename the component name the spelling was wrong now uh, we quickly put a uh, node set so we are going to fix this so I'll just select all this edge node so I'll create an entity set BC nodes nodes on plane I'll select so that way I can easily select the nodes
so I create that so I selected those nodes now I'll just put this in particular view and I'll just select this this particular top edge we're going to drop it so I'll say this nodes so we can select I'll just zoom out there zoom in so that's all we have created that now we'll first check how is the normal now we are going to define master and slave before master and slave will define the friction value so we are going to use a friction of around uh, 0.15 so I'll just put friction point sorry not point 0.15 point 0.3 will be the friction and then then we'll check how is the normal so shift F10 you put it and then you put all element display so if you see normal they are opposite to each other so this will this contact will not work for to get a contact where your normal should be facing towards each other now you see the normals are facing towards each other so normals are facing towards each other so this is fine now now we'll define a master surface our master surface will be a element base so you go to any uh, analysis you go to interface you select master surface element you give some color create and edit and uh, I'm going to select one element and then I say element by face so it created the master surface now we'll create a slave which will be a node base now you can have element base or node base but we are going to select uh, particularly a node base here so that way uh, we can look into a contact pressures node wise so I say create and edit and then I'll just add the nodes so that's it now now we'll define contact you select contact pair give some some color then you see interaction property you give friction so interaction you give friction you select slave surface you select master surface now you have different option now these are different tools for you to get uh, contact issue done so we are going to use extension zone so extension zone we are going to put 0.1 so maximum limit is 20 percent so 0.1 so we, once we put at this edge your master surface specifically on this free edge the master surface will be extended by 10 percent so that way chattering of contact we can handle so we are defined that I'll just have one look on a slave surface how so this is slave and this is master now we'll create a boundary condition so we'll go to loads so we'll say BC's uh, we'll select history at this particular problem you, sh you don't worry about history or initial condition initial condition means your boundary condition will be before the step so it is fine if uh, boundary condition is before the step or inside the step so you I choose the history then you see create and edit so boundary condition node set and uh, we are going to use two so the first node set we are going to give BC's it will be have end caster so all translation and rotation is constrained and the, the second we are going to give a displacement so I'll just let me check it so displacement we are going to give a negative Z so negative Z we are going to so 3 3 minus 1.5 
so we are going to bring that part down by 1.5 so we created the boundary condition we have created the contact now we'll create a output block so you select a output field variable electric group pre-select and then frequency we are going to choose one so every uh, step we are going to ask for results so now you created a load step you say switch you select the load collector you select the output block you say create and then you say edit so it's step then you say static so it's become star step comma static then you select a data line so we are going to start with very initial small loading so it is like a 0 0.001 so 0.1 percent loading end time is 1 minimum increment 1 e power 0 0.5 and then maximum increment is 1 now for this particular this is a large deformation problem so we have to put an NL jump on so I put NL jump on so start start star steps comma NL jump is equal to S increment you want to change if you can want 100 increment you can put increment here name if you want to put put a name so these are all different options so star step the important thing is nl jump on we are going to start with very small loading 0 0.001 loading final one we have bcs then we have output block so guys we are done with uh, the problem now i'll just save it save switch contact i'll say 2 so we save the HM file. Now we are going to just check one more thing here. We are going to check which element type it is. So 2D it is S4R. So it is perfect element is here. So we can just display it and update it. So now it is S4R, four noded structural shell element we are going to use. Now I'll just export the file. So I want to say contact to export. We are going to have a look on the, the input file in text pad so that way we can just just feel it. So we have star we are going to search so nodal definition we have S4 R elements then we are given 0.15 as a thickness material is a steel then set of boundary nodes displacement node material property fiction 0.13 then contact definition master surface and the slave surface master surface is you see s pause means positive or normal direction we have created then we have slave nodes then we have put nl jump on some small loading and then we are going to say push it down by minus 1.5 so let's uh, go and run this problem so go to abacus command i'm just copying this path so i'm saying cd i just go to i say abq 6113 which is a solver i'm to use 6.113 j is equal to so i'm going to copy the job name here so paste and I'm going to put interactive mode so that way you can see it uh, how the the file is going to start so right now analysis started 6.113 it gone to pre.exe so it will check uh, uh, first it will go to pre.exe check it whether if there is a uh, preprocessor related error something like a um, uh, metal property is missing element is not selected properly so there is no uh, uh, issue with the preprocessor so uh, it is taken a five token so so it's a end of analysis input file preprocessor no pre pre related issue so analysis started so it's gone to standard.exe so now 
now it started analysis here so you see the message file so if I open the message file so it just started so we'll just wait for uh, this to solve and then we can have a look at so guys uh, we are done with analysis so analysis done it took around three minutes so I just open a status file just to have a look how how the analysis is gone so if you see uh, till 38 point 39 percent there was no contact then at around 39 percent contact start so you see severe discontinuation start coming up then at around 45 percent there was convergence issue so U is unconverged then for this because of unconvergence then you see the 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 time increment is cut back and then once it got smooth then time increment is increased so overall in 26 increment the analysis is done so let's have a look so I just upload the the results file so this is what you see a contact now so we are almost done everything so now we'll just have a look into results so I'll say we're going to check how is the contact pressure distribution and uh, for every contact problem people look different things so something like this uh, switch industry they looked uh, contact pressure distribution how the contact pressure is distributing so we're going to check that so around uh, the maximum contract pressure is 0 0.0074 and there is a you can see there is a around a line the contact pressure is built so this particular things uh, mainly this industrial look is how much uh, pressure get on a hand hand uh, or thumb just to get a comfort so that's it guys so the main agenda for this particular problem was learn more on the contact get get into how to handle contact convergence mainly get learn about uh, extension zone so go ahead and um, start uh, using this problem build your problem and learn more and uh, thanks for watching this video guys this is a non-profit uh, project so we ne need your support so don't forget to like us or subscribe us we are going to come up with lot of different uh, topic uh, video so thanks bye bye